one that I remember pretty well was I was in second grade and <clears throat> I was related to my teacher, which was a little bit awkward. <laughs> but um, some of the high school girls had came in and asked who wants to play basketball. And I was already doing little cheerleading and I wanted to try basketball. Well, they told us to raise our hands and I raised mine and my teacher told me to put my hand down because I couldn't do it. I mean, just because I can't see doesn't mean I can't do it. 13-year-old Talon Thompson was born with optic nerve hypoplasia, a condition in which the optic nerve is underdeveloped and which has left Thompson blind in one eye and with low vision in the other. In 2008, Thompson's mother, Elizabeth McDonald, saw an episode of the TV show The Doctors, in which a patient with ONH traveled to China for a stem cell procedure not allowed in the United States. Though doctors had told McDonald there is no cure for ONH, she says the stem cell procedure changed that patient's life. Her daughter is now 19. She's gone to veterinarian school, and she drives her own vehicle. So, you, you know, you can't tell me it's not effective. Since the summer of 2012, McDonald, Thompson, and McDonald's mother, LaDawn Potter, have been leading fundraising efforts to pay for the stem cell procedure in China in hopes that Thompson might be able to see and do more than she can now. I have imagined trying to see with this eye and I just can't. I mean, I'm so used to seeing with this one and trying to figure out how to see with both, it's kind of hard. I mean, I don't know how everyone else does it because I've only had to see with the one eye. It's been pretty hard with like elementary and having kids tease me all the time, but after a while you just get used to it. I didn't even listen to it anymore. I mean, it didn't really bother me after a while. When I was in fifth grade, I played basketball, but when it gets into middle school, it's all about winning and I just can't. And it kind of sucks because all of my friends play sports like volleyball, and I absolutely love volleyball, but I just can't play it. I want to do everything that everyone else can. I don't like using the big books, but I have to. Dr. Lawrence Tyson with St. Louis Children's Hospital follows patients who have received stem cell treatments in other countries and says in each case he studied, the treatments are ineffective. He says the most compassionate action he can take is to tell the truth that the treatments simply do not work and only take money from hopeful parents. However, McDonald says that after seeing testimonials from the treatment and speaking to the mother of the patient on the doctor's TV show, she believes the treatment will work. Criticize all you want, but it's not you, it's not your daughter, it's not, you know. So, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know, you, your child gets to see all this and enjoy the sunsets and the sunrises and the beautiful beaches. Does she see it? To a limited extent, yes, but not in the full degree that we get to see it. And so people that say, you know, oh, well, that's just horrible, or the procedure, or why do you have to go over there? Why don't you trade spots with me? Why don't you come into my house and see what it's like? So far, Thompson has raised around $7,000 for the treatment, and she hopes to raise 23000 more so she can take the six-week trip this summer without missing school. It feels good. I mean... It would be nice if a lot more people got involved, but it's okay for right now. I can drive. I won't have to use um, this thing that I have a cane. A little bit excited, but I'm not getting my hopes up just in case it doesn't work, and I'm pretty disappointed. Just in case, like, I got it and it doesn't work. I just don't want to get my hopes up yet and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get to see and stuff. I just don't want to get them up yet until I actually know that I'm going to be able to see. For more information on fundraising efforts, visit talonsfightforsight.weebly.com or visit the Talons Fight for Sight Facebook page.